I'm John Sanchez. I'm going to talk to you today about the 80-20 rule. I'm going to give you a few examples that I will apply for you to some of the topics that my company teaches uh, courses on. So real simply, the 80-20 rule, also known as the Pareto Principle, says that 20% of the inputs account for about 80% of the outputs. And there's lots of research around this, both in the business world as well as in the natural world. And it holds true in just about any topic that you can think of. Now, I'm going to give you some specific examples of how that 80-20 rule applies to some of the topics that we teach courses about. And it's part of the reason that we're focusing on these particular topics. So one of them is decision making. So why do we talk about decision making? We'll give you one statistic. Research conducted by the CEO Genome Project shows that quote unquote decisive people were 12 times more likely to be high performing CEOs, 12 times more likely. So if you focus some time and energy on getting better at making decisions and being decisive, okay, actually taking the action to make a decision and then making good decisions, you take advantage of the 80-20 rule. Talk, let's talk about emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence or the ability to understand your effect on others and the ability to manage yourself properly accounts for almost 90% of what moves people up the ladder when their IQ and their technical skills are roughly similar. Okay, so you can't have lousy tech skills uh, and, and a low IQ and expect your emotional intelligence to completely make up for it. But if those two things are roughly equal, your emotional intelligence will account for about 90% of what moves you up the ladder. The tech skills will get you in the door, emotional intelligence will move you up in your career. Let's talk about communication skills, a big area that, that we train people in. 85% of most people's success is attributable in some way, shape, or form to their communication skills, right? Right there, the 80-20 rule. I mean, that particular number happens to fit pretty closely. So if your communication skills are excellent, you're going to go a long way to being able to be successful in a lot of different endeavors. Let's talk about habits or your propensity to be able to be a person of action. Duke University did some research that shows that habits account for about 40% of our behaviors. So every single day, all the things that you do all day long, about 40% of those are on autopilot. So if you got crappy habits, you're in big trouble. And if you develop excellent habits, you're taking advantage of the 80-20 the rule. You're focusing on a smaller number of things that's going to give you much more bang for your buck. Let's talk about learning. All the things that we're talking about, my company is a training company. We do training and coaching on all these different topics. Learning is something that people need to do all the time to stay on their game. But learning if you don't know how to learn efficiently and effectively Lots of people get overwhelmed with the things that they have to learn. There was a poll that showed two out of three people associated information overload with tensions with their colleagues and with a loss of job satisfaction. 42% of them attributed bad health to that same stress. And 61% of those people said that they've canceled social activities as a result of information overload. If you're not learning efficiently, you're not learning effectively, you're not taking advantage of the 80-20 rule. Take advantage of the 80-20 rule, learn how to learn more effectively, and you'll get way more out of the learning that you do. The 80-20 rule, Pareto principle, a small number of inputs creates a big percentage of your outputs. Focus on the 20%. That's all for today. I'll see you next time. Thank mm -hmm. you.